First, get yourself a Nerf Maverick. I got mine for five bucks at a garage sale. Then file down some of the markings on it. Using a primer spray paint, I can't stress this step enough. Use a good primer base first on plastics. Then you want to get complete coverage on the gun with the primer. A complete coverage does not mean to puddle paint in the recesses. Use short, overlapping bursts of paint. Be patient. Then use a heat gun or a hair dryer to bake the primer onto the gun body. The plastic will heat up, the paint will heat up, it will adhere better to itself. Then switch over to a flat black paint. Repeat the heat bake process. It really does help the paint to set up and stay more durable. Now, I'm not planning on caulking the gun on camera at all, so I'm not worried about detailing underneath the slide on the Maverick. And now for the tedious hand painting portion. I'm going with an ash wood look for the grips and then picking out the details with brass, bronze, and copper later on with a dry brushing technique. Carefully dry brushing the ventilated areas and the gear rings on the cylinder of the gun. Now onto the holster. I used a 3 8 PVA foam matting and a hot knife to cut through it. I traced the gun, flipped it over, moved it about a half inch and traced it again, giving me the rough shape that I need for the holster. Then use the heat gun to heat up and mold the PVA foam to the gun body. Now you can fine tune the holster shape to your personal liking. I decided to use my old worn out leather jacket for upholstery leather here. You can get these cheap at yard sales and thrift stores all day long for five bucks. Now hot glue the leather onto the foam, tucking and cutting your edges in. Then you can make a retaining strap and belt loop that you can glue onto the holster. Now this is a toy bit from a quarter machine that I thought would look good for detailing on the holster. And then we take the snaps off of the leather jacket's collar here and glue those on for detailing with Velcro underneath to hold it all together. And voila! You've made yourself a decent looking Hellgun replica 